It also helps us form our tenses. Many of the tenses will use these auxiliary verbs. Particularly, we have our continuous tense and our perfect tense. There are additional tenses that use auxiliary verbs. We'll get into that when we talk about our individual tenses. Another important aspect of our verbs is that they generally tell us what tense the sentence has been formed in. Take, for instance, the verb to live. We could use it as live or lives, living or lived. I live or she lives in Bangkok, meaning the present. I am living in Bangkok, still the present. Or I lived in Bangkok, meaning the past. Another difference with our verbs has to do with whether or not the verb is regular or irregular. With the regular verbs, in order to conjugate the verb into the past, we simply add ed. We need not do anything more. I worked yesterday. I played football last Saturday. It's always the ed form. With the irregular verbs, in order to conjugate or change the verb into the past, we have to change the word completely. Or, certainly, we cannot simply add ed. So, go goes to went. I went to the store yesterday. And speak goes to spoke. I spoke at a conference last Saturday. When changing the form of our verbs, there are a few patterns that we have to keep in mind. First of all, we have our one-syllable verbs, which follow a pattern at the end, consonant, vowel, consonant. In this instance, we have to double our final consonant before adding ing or ed. In two-syllable verbs, such as occur and happen, we have to be focused on where the stress in the verb comes. Here, we've got occur. The stress is on the end of the word. Here, we've got happen, where the stress is at the beginning of the word. When making these changes for the stress at the end of the word in patterns consonant, vowel, consonant, we double our final consonant before adding ing and ed. However, here, where we have the same pattern, consonant, vowel, consonant, yet the stress is at the beginning of the word, there is no doubling of the final consonant. Now, we go back to our one-syllable verbs that end in Y. Here, we have a consonant before our Y, as in cry, and here, we have a vowel before the Y, as in play. In this instance, with consonant Y, we only add ing to crying, but we have to drop the Y and add ied for cried. However, when there's a vowel be before the final Y, we need not do anything. We only need to add ing or ed.